Hi, how's everybody doing? This is Bob again, and I believe this is video number two about the handyman today. And uh, this one is about trees, toilet paper, bum towels, butt mitts, etc. Uh, please be sure to watch all the videos about the handyman today. They all have useful information. So, why use bum towels or butt mitts? Why use toilet paper? Seriously, why? According to a National Geographic Society newsroom article, the subject being toilet paper wipes out 27,000 trees a day, it states that the equivalent of 270,000 trees a day either end up in landfills or flush down the toilet, and that 10% of that is toilet paper, which means it takes 27,000 trees a day to supply the world's population with toilet paper. That's 27,000 trees each and every day. In a recent CBS Morning News clip, it mentions toilet paper production for February and March of this year was up to 22,000 tons a day. Where does all the material for that toilet paper come from? And where does it end up going? Is it good for our environment, our sewer systems, septic tanks, your home's plumbing? Do we really need toilet paper? Or are there other ways to do the jobs that toilet paper takes care of? The National Geographic Society's article, it also mentions that eventually we will have to use other means besides toilet paper to clean up with, okay? Such as using water to rinse clean with, which in my opinion, using a bidet is a much better way than using toilet paper to clean up with. Here we have the handyman bidet, okay? To perform such a task and it does it very easily it's very affordable and there's no installation needed alrighty you can rinse yourself clean with this and then all you have to do is wipe yourself dry not clean just dry you're already clean after rinsing clean you can use a bum towel or a butt mitt to wipe yourself dry okay butt mitt bum towel either one works just as well as toilet paper I honestly do use these and they work just fine. Alrighty. You should not have any brown matter transferring to them either. And you can wash them in your laundry just as easily as you wash your underwear. Think about it. There's no difference. You can easily make bum towels too and butt mitts out of t-shirts, socks, preferably white cotton ones or cotton blends. You can get one butt mitt, one bum towel out of one sock. Simply by cutting here, okay, you cut there, there's your butt mitt. Then you cut here, all right, and you end up with this, all righty. Now you can split here and make a bum towel, or if you want, you can leave it like that and use it as such, okay. The nice thing, you know, you can flip these around. Same with the butt mitt, all right. And when you're done using one, you just put it in the bucket that you have specifically for used bum towels and butt mitts and then add it to your laundry when washing or just put it in your dirty laundry directly then wash them with the same also very important you don't have to stay seated on the toilet anymore alrighty uh, you can actually get up off the toilet to wipe yourself dry you're clean it's just the same as if you got out of the shower or bath okay so this way you don't have to worry about the bum towel or butt mitt dipping into the toilet water. Also be sure to flush before you dry. So does anybody ever go camping? Uh, you can actually take this camping with you. Even if you don't have access to showers, you can still take the handyman bidet with you to use and keep your private parts clean and fresh and comfortable. There are bigger versions of this style of Hudson spray also, which from my experience, they make great portable showers for camping or whatever. There are one, two, and three gallon versions of this. Alrighty. Another thing, if you think about it, you can get pretty creative with this thing. Uh, handyman bidet, it's good at killing in a baby's bottom too. Uh, it's probably easier on a baby's bottom than my bee wipes and cheaper, I would think. Uh, if you work out of town, like I do, and I do take it with me, you can take this with you. Handyman bidet is also very helpful for anyone that is elderly or physically challenged. Think about that when it comes to cleaning up after bowel movements. This would be very helpful in any assistance.
assisted living facility like i said this isn't a joke or a prank this but it is actually very useful for most anyone it is a definite upgrade over toilet paper too just one last thing think about this who knew we would be experiencing what we have so far this year in twenty twenty between covid nineteen and all the other unfortunate incidents and who knows what the future holds whether you use toilet paper or a different type of bidet or this this bidet may not be a bad backup plan to have around for when the poop hits the fan thank you for watching this video be sure to watch all the videos about the handyman bidet there's one on how to make the bend in the wand that's video number four then there's one about the simple things relative to the handyman bidet such as filling it keeping it clean even taking it camping hope this video was helpful Stay safe and sound, and please be kind to one another. Thank you.